EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Markins here with your outlook for March 3rd, 2021. For your Wednesday, we have a system moving off to our south, well to our south. Uh, this is one of those systems last week that we were thinking may have an effect on our region, but it, alas, it is staying well to the south, and that has been uh, very well documented over the last couple of days that it would stay south of here. So we're going to have an extended stretch over the next uh, week plus uh, of dry weather. Uh, the the uh, temperatures are going to turn warmer today. We're going to have mostly sunny skies, much like yesterday, but the difference between yesterday and today is going to be astounding. As you can see below the uh, video image here, uh, where I have today near 50 degrees and mostly sunny, but it's short-lived because then get to, you get to tomorrow, mostly sunny again, but near 40. We're going to have a cold front move through overnight. It's going to be a dry frontal passage, though, not expecting any precipitation with it and barely any clouds, to be quite honest. And that's going to be coming in overnight, and that's going to set the stage for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to be back to cooler than average. I don't think quite as cold as what we saw yesterday, though. It's going to be cooler than average, but not quite as cold as what we saw on on Tuesday, which was very chilly. And, of course, with those winds, it made it much worse. Now, we are going to have the winds come back in with the cold air advection that's expe expected uh, to follow the frontal boundary. Uh, so first, this is the uh, European model showing that system today moving off to our south. There's a weak front that's sitting off or sitting over New England. It's going to move southward through our region, and it doesn't have any precipitation with it again, but it does have the cold air advection. So uh, here's the NAMS uh, take of that. Here's where the cold front is at this point, and I'll stop the video here so you can see what this is so I can draw it. And it's right about here at about midnight, and it's moving down in this direction like this. Okay, so... Uh, that's going to move through, no precipitation with it, or very little, maybe a straight flurry or something. Maybe that would be about it. Uh, but after that moves through, we have the cold air vexion come in that will result in some lake effect snow showers up across New York State, maybe far northern Pennsylvania here on Thursday. But we're going to get breezy on Thursday with, with the uh, wind gusts kind of, again, not as bad as what we just had. We're talking about 10 to 15 sustained gusts, maybe 25 to 30. Uh, during the day here on Thursday, I think it's more like 25 would be your top wind gusts. Uh, once we get in the overnight period on Thursday night into Friday morning, I think we will start to see some gusts that are going to get up to the 30, 35 degree, uh, 30 to 35 mile per hour range, and that'll that'll slack off after after Friday morning. But those two days especially, it's just cold air advection related, following that cold front, the secondary cold front coming through. And we'll have temperatures that are going to be settling back into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees or so. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday. We might get in the low 40s by the time we get to Sunday. After that point, we're going to have a warm-up and a substantial warm-up of that at that. So once we get to past the weekend, you can see here's that weekend system everybody was talking about. Maybe we're going to hit on the over the weekend with a big storm. Well, there, there it is. And it's still missing by... Quite a big uh, margin here, but there's a big trough here that's situated over the region that's going to give us the, keep those cold air, uh, cold temperatures in place. That's going to start to lift out a little bit on Monday, so we get up maybe near 48, 50 degrees for highs on Monday during the day. Then Tuesday we go up about almost about 10 degrees uh, from from Monday to Tuesday as that trough really lifts out. You start getting some warmer temperatures or higher heights getting into the region that's going to lead to warmer temperatures. And I think there's going to be a couple days in the middle, to, on either side of, of Wednesday, maybe starting as early as Tuesday next week. If not Tuesday, then Wednesday and Thursday most likely. We're going to see temperatures into the 60s across much of the region. So it's going to warm up. I'm pretty confident that we're going to get to 60 or above in many locations uh, by the time at least we get to Wednesday. I don't know about Tuesday. Tuesday has a chance down here by Philadelphia, but I think more like more and more inclusive of more of the area by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday of next week, that's going to be ahead of this next cold front that we expect to come in either late uh, Thursday or Thursday night. That's going to be our next precipitation chance because we're going to be dry this entire time straight through that period, through at least next Wednesday and maybe even most of Thursday before this cold front uh, moves through with uh, some rain showers coming at that time. So it'll allow the snow to melt, whatever snow you have left. It will melt off. Uh, the areas that are already without snow are going to have a, a dry period where the ground can dry out a little bit. It's not as muddy during mud season as it normally is. So we'll have that to uh, uh, to help out a little bit. And uh, I think you'll be able to, if you like the signs of spring, you'll definitely like next week. I think next week, at least for a couple days there, it's going to get quite warm uh, for this time of year. And you'll uh, definitely like the early taste of spring. At that time, I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for March 3rd, 2021. Have a great Wednesday.